today. Uh, so today we're going to talk about shooting on expired film. We have here a Kodak Ektachrom E100 VS. It's the uh, not the new one, not the new just out one. It's the old old Ektachrom where where it's still it's in production. It expired at 2005. The December of 2005. So 10 like what 15 years? Is it 15 years? 13 years. No, 18. Oh, okay. You know, we're all bad at math. So, 18 years, you know, 18 years of expiration. No. Is it 18 uh, years? No, 13. 13, okay. 13 what the? <laughs> okay. So, this is a 120 medium format. Uh, one is the VS version, which stands for. There's a there's few, few other versions. You see? There's E100G for extremely fine grain, and then the E100GX, extremely fine grain, and then it's a warm, balanced color. And then we have this E100VS, which is the vivid saturation, and then the normal E200, which is a higher ISO one. You can push to 800. So, so the picture will come out like, like where, where the light, like, uh, let me get a light source, as you can see. Beautiful. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, upside down. Okay, like this. So, this is taken by, exactly by this film. Oh, someone's asking a question. Uh, so, this one is taken directly from this film, which expired 13 years ago. You can see it came out like really good. I didn't focus properly. But you know, you get you get pictures, so it's totally fine to shoot with. So so and my and my boss got like really addicted to shooting positive film. So he got really confident. This so why why like why why we shoot expired film because what first is like as you can see it's totally fine and it's cheaper if you buy buying like slide film now it's like what 12 to 15 bucks per roll so this is really cheap so so my boss got really really into like really confident of buying this expired film so as the result we got <clears throat> uh, 50 rolls of ectochrome. This is the 100 plus version. You can see it's the EEP 100. They look Compar the same. Compared to this, we have before the E100 VS. It's like the same, but it's VS. This is EPP. You know? You can see it's, it's, it's virtually the same film, but... This is ultra rare, man. Probably good. And, like, we got 15... Like, we got 50 rolls for really cheap... How much was it? Like $6. Like $200, $200 for all of them. Like 200 bucks. 200 bucks for 50 roll. So how much is that per roll? How much is that per roll? Six dollars maybe, around that. Around six bucks per roll. So we got this. But uh, let's see the result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like we, the color. We couldn't believe what happened. Like, we developed by ourselves. And here, here it is. I like the contrast. It's really transparent, you know. Like, it's just like a perfect... Uh, perfect. I like the transaction. You know, perfect. Just like you can, you can use this as as like a like an ND filter. You know, we have we have this uh, plus minus one stop, and then the two stop, <laughs> like this. And then where's the other one? Okay, this this is probably a five stop. 
Oh no, eleven stop or something. So we tried like many like ver uh, variable time and variable temperatures, and it came out like this, which is weird because you can see a slight, a faint. It's not a developing problem. Come on, focus. It's too okay but, but but we can see the letters on it we can see the letters on it so that means there's no problem with developing a little bit later i mean but but it's just not working so we contact the seller oh, we bought this on ebay so we contact the seller the seller is like oh you should probably try uh cross processing with uh, e, uh with c41 i was like what the fuck this is like a e6 film cross processing Using C41 will come out like weird, so it, it destroys the whole purpose of, of you know, a, a lookable, a lookable slide film like this. They're using the same bleach. They, and apparently they're using the same bleach with E6 and uh, C41. So the result will be the same. So, so it will be kind of like this. Uh, this maybe maybe there's picture, but but it will be really faint. So, this is, this is lab, no. so, so we went to the lab. We were not sure about, about our like developing skills. So we went to the lab. Look, look at the packaging. Like we went to the lab. It's slightly better. It, it's it's perfect. It came out really perfect. Look at that. It's just nothing on it. N not even letters. So so the lab is. Did the lab charge us? Uh, zero. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, the lab charged us. <laughs> yep. So, so what the fuck? <sighs> so, I mean, that's why. I think this is the reason why that you should be, yeah, you should be careful about like a buying buying expired film like this. So, you might end up with this. You might end up with this. Perfectly fine. Problem. But most of the time, it's perfectly fine. Problem date. Oh, and this is even older than this. Look at the exp expiration date. It's one year and six. And this, which is perfectly fine, 2005. One year apart. The, the, the big one. From someone who, who is using a large format, you, you can see uh, this is a, what is this? Royal pen. Kodak Royal pen. Black from from the, uh, from what year was it? 1980s. Wow. Ex no, no, expired at 1980s. Wow, 30 years expired. Yeah, so, and then expired film, okay, uh, which is uh, black and white. It's perfect. Look at it. This is just a contact sheet. You, you can see it's like it's, it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. So, so, I don't know what happened with this, but just be careful when when you when you are so confident of of yourself and you just like you just like freaking like lose yourself and it's like it's I mean, fine it's fine it's, like it's not open it's, it's fine open it's fine it's new it's brand new how, it's how, fine how it's like we're we're we never get a problem with shooting with shooting expired film but like when you buy this much we got a problem you know even this, like thirty years. And it's open there. The box is open there. The fuck. So yeah, but you know, and we also have this expired. Came out okay, just really dark. And then we have this really cheap uh, Chinese, like like Stupid. homemade film. Like what is it? The the my heart. <laughs> you know, it's pretty funny. It's just a plastic shell, and then <laughs> you see. You see here? Ten exposure. Ten. It's just ten pictures. But this is like two bucks. Three bucks each. Like n nothing. But but this one is good. Like this one is shit. Wait, it says no for sale apparently. I don't know, like what, what kind of version is this? It will say it says it says it's not for sale or something. Look, there's some weird stickers on it. Like five rolls. I don't I don't read is this like Spanish or something, but apparently this this is for use for some. I don't know. Olympic. I don't know, but but it's brand new. It's sealed, so we thought it's okay, but 
you know, so just be careful buying expired film. Never get too greedy. You know, yeah. Don't be too greedy. <laughs> okay, they, bye. They don't, they don't even allow you to return that. Yeah. Okay. They're not gonna yeah. do the return. We got Stop. ripped off. You know, we're poor, but we got ripped off. Yeah, that's it. Bye-bye. That's it, bye.